This is section 5-4, day one. Uh, we have a key concept, sum and difference identities. If we take the cosine of one angle plus another angle, that's the same as taking the cosine of the first angle, cosine of the second angle, and then minusing the sine of the first angle, uh, sine of the second angle. And notice that if we are adding the two angles, the formula says we need a minus in the middle. And here for sine, if we take the sine of angle alpha plus beta, that is sine of alpha cosine of beta plus cosine of alpha sine of beta. And the signs for sine are the same. Now with tangent, alpha plus beta is tangent alpha tangent beta plus, and then one minus tangent alpha tangent beta. And notice how the sine is the same on top, and then the sine is the opposite in the bottom. And then same with the difference identities. For cosine, the signs are opposite. For sine, the signs are the same. And for tangent, we have same on top, and we have opposite on the bottom, and they use the same pattern. We have the unit circle, and, and later we're going to be asked to find the exact values of some angles. And notice that we're going to be asked to find the exact value of cosine of pi over 12. So we want these, uh, this, this unit circle, we want the values to be in terms of pi over 12. So this would be 2 pi over 12. This is 3 pi over 12. This is 4 pi over 12. Here we would have 6 pi over 12. Uh, let's keep going. This would be 4 pi over 12. We have 9 pi over 12. And then 5 pi over 6 would be 10 pi over 12. And finally, 12 pi over 12. And if you have to keep going around the circle to get twelfths and use those values, uh, that's fine. But usually we can take care of most answers just by looking at either quadrant 1 or quadrant 2 or a combination of the both. Uh, and notice that the first question is, what, or, or this one down here actually, is uh, what's the cosine of pi over 12? But let's do, uh, let's do sine of 75 first. Well, there's probably a few that we could use, but 45 plus 30 is 75 degrees. We have the sine of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. That's going to be equal to the sine of 45 degrees cosine of 30 degrees and then plus cosine of 45 degrees sine of 30 degrees now the values are square root of 2 over 2 times the cosine of 30 is square root of 3 over 2 plus square root of 2 over 2 times the sine of 30 is 1 half we have the square root of 6 over 4 plus the square root of 2 over 4 and we can write that with common denominator. So it's all over 4. And that is the exact value of the sine of 75 degrees. Find the exact value of cosine of pi over 12. So we have to find 2 pi over 12 that subtract to 1. And we notice 1 right here. We have 4 pi over 12 and 3 pi over 12. We have cosine of 4 pi over 12 minus 3 pi over 12. And that's equal to the cosine of 4 pi over 12, cosine of 3 pi over 12, and then plus uh, sine of 4 pi over 12, sine of 3 pi over 12. Now those can, of course, be reduced. We have cosine of pi over 3 cosine of pi over 4 plus sine of pi over 3 sine of pi over 4. The cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. Cosine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. Sine of pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2. And sine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. And we have the square root of 2 plus the square root of 6 all over 4. Find the exact value of tangent of 11 pi over 12. Let's go back to the unit circle, and we need to find two angles that add up to 11 pi over 12. Well, we have 9 pi over 12, and we have 2 pi over 12. That adds up to 9 pi, or that adds up to 11 pi over 12. So we have tangent of 11 pi over 12. 
tangent of 9 pi over 12 plus 2 pi over 12. And that's equal to tangent of 9 pi over 12 plus tangent of 2 pi over 12 over 1 minus tangent of 9 pi over 12 tangent of 2 pi over 12. And that's equal to tangent of uh, 3 pi over 4 plus tangent of pi over 6 over 1 minus, uh, let's see, the tangent of, uh, that'd be the tangent of 3 pi over 4, tangent of pi over 6. That's equal to the tangent of 3 pi over 4 is negative 1, and then plus pi over 6 is uh, square root of 3 over 2, 1 half, and that's going to be square root of 3 over 3 over 1 minus uh, negative 1 and then square root of 3 over 3. That's equal to, uh, let's get rid of the complex fraction. We have negative 3 plus square root of 3 over, and then we have uh, 3 and then negative negative, that's plus square root of 3. Let's rationalize the denominator, and we'll multiply by 3 minus square root of 3, 3 minus square root of 3, and that's equal to, we have negative 9, uh, we have a positive square root of 3, and a 3 square root of 3, and a positive 3 square root of 3, that's plus 6 square root of 3, and then we have minus 3, all over 9 minus 3. That's equal to... We have negative 9 minus 3, that's negative 12, plus 6 square root of 3 over 6, which is negative 2 plus square root of 3. Find the exact value of tangent of 78 degrees minus tangent of 18 degrees over 1 plus tangent of 78 degrees tangent of 18 degrees. Well, this is always the same as the, as the angle addition or subtraction. So in this case, it's subtraction. And now we have this whole thing is equal to the tangent of 78 degrees minus 18 degrees. That is the tangent of 60 degrees. And the point for 60 degrees is 1 half square root of 3 over 2. And the tangent is square root of 3. Find the exact value of sine of 7 pi over 6, cosine of 5 pi over 6, minus cosine 7 pi over 6, sine of 5 pi over 6. This is the pattern for a, the, the angle addition for sine. Uh, we have the sine of 7 pi over 6 minus 5 pi over 6. That's the sine of 2 pi over 6, which is the sine of pi over 3. And the sine of pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2. On the next one, we have find the exact value of cosine of 32, cosine of 13, minus sine of 32, sine of 13. This is the pattern for the double or uh, the uh, angle addition formula for cosine, and we have the cosine of 32 plus 13, and that is the cosine of 45 degrees, and the cosine of 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2.